again. Or just do it over again. Hi, I'm Hal. Welcome to Beer with Empty Bunning Glass. I'm visiting from Scotland, so I've brought a Scottish beer, which I believe is pronounced Frugh. I've been practicing that for my colleague here. Frugh. <laughs> is that how you say it? Frugh. Frugh. I have no idea if that's correct. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Abby, and I've brought Moose Drool. Brewed in your very own Missoula, Montana for <laughs> Hal. Moose Drool. Lovely. Makes me want yep. to drink it. <laughs> Oh yeah. I think the colour of that. Yeah. Wow. It's Cheers. nice. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's very tasty. Yeah. It's nice. Mostly foam in the first sip. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're here to talk about taxonomy. You mean stuffed animals? No, that's taxidermy. Oh, those cars you can take instead of new. No, no, that's taxi. We're talking about taxonomy. Taxonomy is a system for classifying stuff into easy to manage groups. And it's how we're able to make sense of the what, how many is it now? More than a billion. More, more than a billion job postings that MZ Burning Glass has collected. It's how we can make apples to apples comparisons about the jobs and skills that might seem widely different. If you've got a system for your kitchen drawers or the tools in your garage or your streaming queue, then you've got a taxonomy. But let's say you were put in charge of a liquor warehouse. Oh, yes please. <laughs> but it was just a bunch of crates jumbled any old way and you had to organize it. A taxonomy of alcoholic drinks would contain groupings like beers, wines, spirits, and so on. But a taxonomy can also have different levels. So within beers, you could have stout, porter, pale ale, lager. With a taxonomy, I can easily tell you what I like to drink and where to find it in the warehouse. So now we can easily say what kind of alcohol we like. I like red wine, but not white. I like beer, but not stout. Taxonomies allow us to understand the job market in exactly the same way. Because let's face it, labor market data can be pretty chaotic in its raw form. How is it? Good. This is really good. Yeah. yeah, this is very similar to Newcastle Brown Ale, which is uh, the sort of standard English Newkey Brown, as it's known. It's good. It's great. I'm glad. There's no standard way of writing a job description. There can be dozens of job titles for the same role. Our taxonomy allows us to compare and consolidate all of these into standard titles that make sense. We've distilled millions of possibilities into just over 70,000 job titles in our library. Roles can be further grouped into occupations. For example, there are many types of specialist recruiter, financial, healthcare, sales, all can be grouped as recruiters. This keeps them separate from other human resource roles, which will have their own occupations, HR specialist, HR assistant, benefit specialist, and so on. The same principle goes for skills, which change even more rapidly than job titles. With our taxonomy, we're able to see how the skills underlying specific jobs are changing, and they're changing fast. The skills profile of the average job has changed nearly 30% over the last decade. We aren't the only ones who do this. There are government taxonomies for occupations and industries, but they're usually focused on one country. In, oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> In addition, most governments only update their taxonomies every few years. We're constantly me reviewing ours, and as a result, we're able to pick up on new occupations and new skills like mobile app developers or data science long before other taxonomies. That's great, but what does it mean for the people who use our products? Good question. Employers looking to hire can fine tune their job descriptions, understand what skills are emerging in the job market, and make more strategic hiring and training plans. A college can see what specific skills are in demand today and adjust their curriculum to meet demand. And career advisors can use real world examples from our data with their clients. Taxonomies are always evolving. We are working to add new and emerging skills to our taxonomy every two weeks. I still think the two weeks <laughs> thing is the most exciting thing about our job. So, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. Two weeks. Two weeks, <laughs> guys. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. With this insight, we get a front row seat on how the job market is changing. And when you use our dashboards, you're sitting right alongside us. If you want to know more about taxonomies and how we analyze data and how this insight can solve your problems, problems as an employer, a community leader, or an educator, visit us at this URL. <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this beer with MZ Burning Glass, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> do we need to do it and again? And scene. <laughs>